David writes this in Psalm 31. My times are in your hands. That is a freaky thing to say. I don't like that. See, I have a schedule, and I like keeping that schedule. Say, today, uh, on, on Wednesday, on Thursday, I'm going to complete these things. But if my times aren't in my hands, I don't know if I'm going to get those things done. You know what? I know that Friday is moving out with my family. We're probably going to be eating pizza, because that's what we do. But that's time in my hands. If my time is in God's hands, who knows what's going to happen? Not me. But remember what we said yesterday? The Lord is our God. We will trust in him. And if I trust him, that means I know that his use of my time is better than my use of my time. I want my time in my hands so I get what I want done because I think I can handle it best. But you know what? God knows better than me. And if he loves me enough to die for me, he's not going to say, oh, yeah, Pastor Luke's time, I think I'm going to make him waste all his time, and that's the best. No, he's going to actually do what's best, not just for me, but for all of his people. And that includes Christmas 2020. This time is in God's hands. And he knows what he's doing. So if you look around right now and you wonder, is Christmas coming? Well, yeah, Christmas already came. 2,000 years ago, Jesus has been born for you. And this time, too, is in God's hands.